So Alex, you're with SaltStack. Now a lot of network engineers and engineers in general, they're familiar with say Ansible. How is SaltStack different? One of the biggest differences with SaltStack and Ansible is the event-driven automation component. So SaltStack started out as a configuration management remote execution play, a lot like Chef, Puppet, and Ansible. But we go beyond that with our event-driven automation component. And one of the key things with that is our ability to put the agent on the device uh, or have a proxy if that device can't hold the minion itself and be able to watch for and react to any type of event that happens. That gives us an ability to be more proactive about what's going on so that you have more real-time response to the events that are taking place in your environment rather than just having to wait for a scheduled opportunity to go in, take a look, and execute your commands. They say event. Give us some examples of an event. An event can be something as simple as a specific user logged in that you didn't expect to or maybe a port has started to communicate that you didn't think should be. And our minions will be able to identify those uh, send that event back to our salt master that then can respond with the appropriate action. So with the event driven, that means I have the opportunity not just to make sure that my infrastructure is in a particular state, but that if an event crops up, I can react to that change, if you will. That's exactly right. A lot of times we see people focusing on the day zero uh, state of a machine, but they kind of ignore or decide not to continue worried about day two through infinity. Now with this event engine, you can actually look at it and say, whenever this happens, whether it's on day zero or day 100, it'll always put the machine back into the, the state that you expect it to be in. Okay. Now some folks know Salt as a open source project. Salt Stack is the company behind it? That's right. So Salt Stack is our, our parent company. We have the, the Salt Open project, which we're the maintainers of and we work to make sure that that community stays vibrant and excited about what's taking place. And we also offer a Salt Stack Enterprise that's built on top of Salt Open that provides some additional features and very specific solutions around things like security. Okay, and where do folks go to find out more about Salt Stack? SaltStack.com or follow us on Twitter or LinkedIn. Thanks, Alex. Thank you, Ethan.